The thing I get asked about the most is what is the thermal wind tunnel and how does it work? Uh, if you go back to the early 90s, um, I was hunting in Grant County, Wisconsin, and I was sitting on a hill, and I had figured out that you had to be on the leeward side of, at that point already. Um, but on that day, it was extremely windy. There were gusts over 30 miles an hour, and you couldn't hunt up high, and you had to figure that the deer would be on the uh, downwind side where the wind wasn't hitting. So I was going to be there no matter what. And I was in a little area below the hill where I could get out of that gusting wind coming over the top. And uh, it was right after real heavy leaf drop. And those leaves were blowing around. And these gusts of wind were blowing these leaves over the top of this hill. And they would be falling into the hillside where I'm at. And you could watch that wind tunnel form as those leaves spun and you could actually see the tunnel and uh, I know that sounds bizarre but it was really an eye-opening event and the only time I've ever seen that in my life that it formed like that it was like God was trying to tell me something <laughs> and I remember watching those deer come down that tunnel uh, as they were cruising in the rut uh, that day so what I wanted to do in this video is uh, um, explain the thermal wind tunnel and share an animation that my friend Gary Voigt made. What happens is you have the wind blowing over a hill like this and the sun heats the valley. Thermals rise as the valley gets heated and those thermals are going to hug that hill as a, as a vacuum effect. As this wind pulls over, it's going to create a vacuum, and it's going to pull those thermals along the hillside. And at the point where they meet, there's going to be a swirling effect, and that's right where the deer cruise during the rut, and that's right where they bed. They bed right where the two winds meet. There you have it. The thermal wind tunnel. How about those cat pants? Woohoo!